friends. Hi. Yeah. Uh, got Marky with me here. We're just gonna we're just we're talking in the car and thinking about <clears throat> some of the things that I've noticed you guys are kind of interested in in my content is the stuff that's around mental health but specific to guys and to men. And I thought, well, I've got a man at my at disposal. My disposal. <laughs> it sounds terrible, doesn't it? Um, no, I've got a lovely husband here. I can ask him a few questions about some of the challenges maybe that you guys are facing. So, so Marky, let's jump straight in. We'll just have maybe three questions. Okay. Keep it nice and First short. First of all, I just need to apologise for not making eye contact with the, yes. with the viewers. He is actually driving, I'm as you driving can see. Jam jar. And we'll, we'll show and you. And also because that I'm interesting, yeah. actually ADHD, if I see anything interesting along the way, I won't be able to. Uh, uh, refrain from pointing at yes. excitedly. We really, this so is I'll our go, second take. So. Ooh, a squirrel. Yeah. So if you don't get squirrels over here. Well, yeah. you do get squirrels, but they're not yeah, supposed to be here. They're, they're not illegal, supposed to be here. Yeah. We're squirrels. in Aotearoa, guys. We're in New Zealand, in case you don't know. But yeah, so Marky needs to keep his eyes on the road. So sorry about that. Let's just jump in, Marky. So Marky, yeah. the first question I have for you is, in terms of the challenges that are facing men today in 2019, what do you feel are maybe some of the most difficult in terms of um you know what what are we missing as, as a society and in our culture we live in new zealand so obviously and we're british so we're, we're we're biased from that perspective but in the new zealand's quite an extreme in this yes it is well, it, not quite it's very much an extreme very yeah. much yes so that's me screaming then because the car looks as if it's about to pull out and that's the other thing about us here the, the drivers here are you yeah. know notoriously See my video on my YouTube channel about <laughs> crazy Kiwi drivers. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try and reference there. that. Okay, so Marky, can you answer yes. that question? Uh, what was the question? The question <laughs> yeah, is... No, no, I'm joking. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I think a lot of really good work has been done about redefining on what it is to be a woman. Yeah. Um, and But no work has been done about redefining what it is to be a man. Yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, very little anywhere So men are very lost because uh, the old kind of ways don't work. Right. And they're not familiar with the new ways. And they're still um, down if they do and down if they don't in lots of ways. Right. So, so there's kind of stuff about being, all the old school stuff about being gentlemanly. And chivalrous. Um, yeah. Um, and, you know, guys sometimes get flagged for that or they, they fear they'll get flagged for that. Mm. Um, and a lot of that women still like. Mm. We're talking in a very heteronormative way here, really. Yes, that we should but know I guess our where it is. I guess where, where it comes to male and female relationships, that's where this stuff plays out for the most part. Yeah, it? true. So, so guys that really don't know how to be anymore. Um, okay. You know, they're still, and, and they're still kind of the warrior archetype and all those things around. Mm. But, um, we're not supposed to be like that. We're supposed to be civilized. We're supposed to be <laughs> yeah, um, very beta. Um, yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. I don't know if what I can about it any better really? But yeah, we, no, we don't know. We don't know how good. to be. Yeah. So okay, a bit more of a personal one. And if you feel like okay, now I don't want to get into this now because we haven't rehearsed this, guys. By the way, what about like for you personally, then, Marky? In terms of let's say our relationship, we're both professionals. We're both highly skilled specialist psychotherapists we both work I mean I'm working part-time at the moment so I kind of balance some of the things at home you work full-time predominantly but generally our relationship is pretty equal in many respects but do you feel that it's still you're still having to kind of contest with what you learnt as a young as a child as a young person in terms of what the roles are of male and female of what it means to be male like you know housework or you know any anything like that those traditional ideas do you do you find any of that challenging or, or no um, i think there's ghosts yeah really. that's a good way of putting it um not necessarily things that i buy into but there are kind of ghosts so i think there is a bit of a ghost of i should be in charge right 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 yeah for things like money Yes, right. I suppose I should be... And I'm actually the one who's good with money, in a way. Well... <laughs> I am good with money! Excuse me! I think there's... <laughs> My dad was a chartered accountant. He retired <laughs> retired chartered accountant. And, you know, let's be real, I handle the banking in the family, right? 
Well, my dad was in the Air Force, but I don't fly everywhere. <laughs> um, you know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> we're not supposed to be having an online squabble, although this might be entertaining to <laughs> We won't get into that. Okay. Well, but, that's the truth of the matter. Yeah, I, think, I do the banking in the family. I pay I the bills. I do all the... You bring in the money, but they then I, I look after the actual transactions, which the is good what I'm people good at. Social media don't need to know all this. Um, yeah, but it's interesting, isn't I it? I think, yeah, it's but... It's not exactly really, classified. But we're losing my point a little bit oh, here, okay. aren't we? Well, no, but it's still... I suppose I feel like there's a part of me that feels like occasionally I should forbid things. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. And that I'm... I'm kind of less of a man because I don't forbid things. Right. Remember, is that what your some, dad would do? No. Well, I think he probably would on the on the slime. You know, I never saw it, but I, I think it, I think he did probably. Wow, yeah. my um, dad definitely did. I, mean, I was I was too young to. He wasn't around enough for me to be impacted by that. It was more my older siblings who who would have borne the brunt of that forbidding. I mean, such an archaic language. I remember seeing some film or whatever where some some guy was being there was a power struggle between these two chiefs or something and they were saying you're not even in control of your own household right saying, well, I'm not in control of my household <laughs> <laughs> what film was this though wasn't it there like, is, it is a part of me that okay. kind of thinks you know I should be right. should be in control of my household yeah right I suppose yeah. I don't kind of you know consciously and intellectually kind of buy into that yeah but, but I kind of you know there's a ghost of that that yeah. thinks that I should right. have I should have more. I mean, the reason I'm not in control of the household isn't really anything to do with relationship. It's to do with I'm not very good at um, organising things like money and, and stuff like that anyway. So yeah. I feel like I'm not in control of myself, <laughs> let alone in control of anybody else. Or, yeah, um, and that's because you're good at other things. You're new, you know, you're neurodiverse, so that brings with it all, you know, a whole raft of creativity and yeah. gifts and skills that are so it. important. Good at stimming. <laughs> no, but you're, you know, that's, you're, you're being silly, you're being, you know, that's, that's yeah. diminishing actually the truth of it, which is that, you, you know, you bring a hell of a lot. So, and so what I was saying earlier is not like, yeah, I'm neurotypical, so certain things are just, you know, straightforward and easy for me. It doesn't mean it's a special superpower. It just, it's just what I, what I can do. And then other things I'm not very good at doing, so and I will delegate to you or ask for help or whatever, you know, it's, it's not, like you say, it's not necessarily a male and female thing, but... But I think yeah. that, you know, I think it does take a certain humility and I think there's definitely that hangover or ghost, as yeah, you say. Take of... your little time, mate. <laughs> Somebody walking, sauntering across the road. Into the road, into the car. <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is our turn era, guys. But, um... <laughs> sauntering across the road. Not even across the road, into the freaking car. Stop in time there, shoelaces, <laughs> smelling the roses. <laughs> anyway, okay, so final question, Marky. Um, what support do you feel that men need in terms of, you know, how, how do we kind of, how can we do better in this realm, in this regard? Please? I think, I think what men sorely need is positive role models. Yeah, for and sure. I think there's, you know, there are too many boys growing up without fathers mm. or without father figures. Yeah. That's have to be a father. Absolutely. That has, has to be a father. So I, I'm very big on mentorship. Okay, yeah. I think um, I think guys need to, you know, older, you know, mature men need to be helping younger men. Mm -hmm. um, and this is why things like apprenticeship was really good because when, when young mm. boys, you know, I mean, we are talking about, you know, obviously apprenticeships now is boys and girls, but mm. when young boys kind of did apprenticeships, they didn't just learn the trade, they learned how to be. Mm, absolutely. And, and All the things were, that, yeah. And if they were, you know, if they, if they were immature or did anything that was out of line, then their their older colleagues would put them in line. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, you know, but also support them and help them with their problems and right. you know, be an ear to listen to and all those kind of things. Yeah. And I think I think that's what. So mentorship. That's, and a lot of the clients that um, work with over here are are young boys that haven't really had good fathering. Mm. Uh, and what about for older men? What's the what's the need for guys who are just like you say yeah, struggling it's interesting with? Interesting, because older men. Suicidal, aren't they? Yeah, right. The twenty-five to the forty. Um, That's the suicide hotspot. An interesting one, really. Isn't mm. it? I think. Um, yeah, again, it's, it's, it's knowing knowing that it's okay to get help. Like, yeah. Especially in New Zealand, because you know, yeah, people, my goodness, big you know, time. People are so kind of stoic. Oh, it's yeah, you know, they're like incredible. that. Um, they're like that. 
is it the Black Knight in Monty Python? Yeah. Uh, has his leg chopped off and says, this is but a scratch. Yeah, <laughs> they're right. Like, they're, they're almost literally like that. 